musical numbers are going to be incredible. Like, I don't think anyone knows what they're in for. The music is so catchy. It's just, people are going to die. They're just going to die because it's so good. You ever have a meal, like, and you're just like, oh my gosh, that was the best. I could eat that for a week. That's what the music of the show feels like. There's a lot of songs that really tell really great stories and messages. I feel like having the songs within our story is like, oh, Let's just go listen to that song. We get the story right there. There's 30 songs in 10 episodes. It really allows us into these characters in a way that we would not have been able to had it not been a musical TV show. Jane is our, is our like perfect pop. Olivia is rock and roll Marilyn. Cynthia is just like butch rock and roll. And Nancy is like this alternative pop meets doo-wop. Basically how it would work is I would have a Zoom with Annabelle, our brilliant showrunner. And she would give me like the rundown of the script, what was happening in this, in this song, and the story points that we had to cover. And then it was our job to decide like, what does that sound like? In the tradition of musical theater, when you cannot speak, you sing. So I think that the music sometimes puts into words things that the characters don't directly say. The music gives people hope, the characters hope, and it gives them a chance to say how they really feel about the situation that they're in. The music moves along the story, it moves along the plot line, and it elevates it, it tells it in like a more poetic way. Even the beat gets you in the mood and, and makes you hear, you know what I mean? And, and makes you be part of that conversation. You wanna just sway to it and you wanna snap your fingers, and you're like, this is so fun, I love it. But then you listen to the lyrics and you're like, hold up, did they just, wait, wait, what did we just talk about? At the end of the day, I think our number one job is to just make people laugh and have fun. But they really, they like don't pull their punches. We dive into a lot of touchy subjects. Justin Tranter, our songwriter, is phenomenal. He writes the most pointed songs, but they're also bangers, like they slap. <laughs> Every time we listen to a new song, we're like, how does he do this? Well, it's really hard to describe the songwriting process because it all happens so quick. Somebody plays something and that inspires someone to sing something and that inspires me to say something. And then like two hours later, there's a song done. A song I'm really proud of is I Want More in episode two, which for about a bunch of weird production reasons is the last song that we wrote. Justin and I were just texting about what it was and we said, well, we never really gave Jane the like classic musical I want song. And then Justin came back with this like sexy, beautiful, ambitious song about a girl having all this desire and ambition. I mean, I was on the floor. New Cool is the first song that we wrote. Yeah, I'm definitely biased, but my favorite song is New Cool. I couldn't say New Cool. It is New Cool. New Cool. Immediately the first time I heard that song, I was like, yes. And Ari, Cynthia, they absolutely kill it. We had that day where we sang that song. I don't think anyone knew what to expect. We all were like, what's it gonna be? How's this gonna sound? Is Ari gonna be able to sing this? And I had a blast. I had the most fun I've ever had in my entire life singing a song in front of people. As a non-binary person, having a non-binary actor playing Cynthia, there's just like a deep connection. And Brittany Campbell, who I co-wrote it with, is queer, so it's just like a big queer dream come true. Our songs really do touch on some hot button topics and some powerful things, but here's the thing, we're not saying anything new. These ideas are out there, we're talking about them in society, so let's have fun with it. The cast, we do have an amazing connection on and off screen. I think that was a goal of Annabelle and the team. She always said, I want it to be an ensemble. I want us to be the best ensemble. That's something that she would yell out before every big scene. She'd go, best ensemble, remember, best ensemble. And, and it slowly became something that like, when we're kind of all hanging out outside of work too, we're like, best ensemble.